In this presentation, we're going to enter check and expense forms. In other words, we're going to have some standard type of costs, some standard type of expenses and other costs that we're going to be entering into the system with check and other kind of expense forms that would be decreasing the checking account. Here we go with zero. Here we are in our Get Great Guitars dashboard. We're going to be opening up our trial balance first. So we're going to go to the accounting drop down. I'm going to go right down to the trial balance, which is going to be in our favorite reports down there. I got it in the favorite reports. And then I'm going to be right clicking on the tab up top. So we're going to duplicate that trial balance by right clicking on the tab up top. And then we'll duplicate it, bringing the trial balance to the right and then the data input on the left. Going back to the data input on the left, going to go back then to the dashboard. Now what we're going to do is we're going to enter some kind of standard transactions or standard kind of expense items that you might have in uh, a type of business organization. And we'll consider how to, how to enter that expense forms, how to enter the vendors as we go, meaning we'll populate the vendors as we go, and some types of accounts that we might want to consider when we see some of these standard types of expenses. So we're going to go then to the plus item over here, and we're going to say that we have the money going out. So we're going to spend money. We're going to go to the spend money item. We'll be spending the money directly out of our checking account. So we're going to be spending money out of the checking account. We have some money to spare, so it'll be okay. It'll be good times here to spend money. So we're going to say then, the first one we're going to be spending money on is going to be going to a vendor. And we're going to be saying it's our insurance company. Let's say it's like liability or insurance or something like that. The company name we're going to add. No, we're going to add the vendor or contact as we go. I'm just going to call it Safe Insurance Company. That's the company name. It's going to be a new contact, so I just type it in there and say, yeah, it's a new contact. If it would populate for us, then we know it's a contact that's already in the system. Obviously, the second month of operations and later months of operations will be easier because the contact will already be in populated for us. And if we have questions about the transaction, we can go back to the prior transaction and see what happened last time, including the vendor as well as the related account that we hit with regards to that vendor. So when you first start the company file, it will be more difficult because we have to add vendors as we go and we have to think about which accounts we want to hit down here as we add more vendors. Second month or later on, then all we, what we want to do typically is be consistent. We can be consistent by simply looking at the last transaction we had for that particular vendor typically. All right, so I'm going to say tab. I'm going to say this happened on uh, January 30th. So let's say January 30th. I'm not going to put any reference if it was a check that we were paying or we we're going to be paying this out of the system. We can make this into a check form and then go in and print the checks as we've seen in a prior presentation, looking at the PDF files and then printing the checks. And then we're going to go into the items. It's not going to be an item because we're not dealing with an inventory item. Uh, we could put a description, which might just be, I'm going to say year, year of insurance, which I spelled wrong. And you might want to say that I'm going to say that this is insurance we're paying for a year of. Yeah, I did it again. Year of insurance. And and that means that we might want the dates that the insurance are being covered. Now, insurance is a little bit funny in, the, in that way in that we have to prepay the insurance typically. So let's talk about that real quick. One, the price is going to be 11000 And then on the account, you would think it would just be insurance expense. And, and if you're paying monthly, maybe that would be appropriate. But note that insurance is one of those things that it's weird because you pay for it before you get the coverage. Whereas like the telephone company, you pay for it after you use the telephone. So here you're paying for it before you get the coverage. So typically then uh, you might have to put it into a prepaid account if you want to be in an accrual system. In other words, if I have 11000 for the entire year and I expense it in January, then it's gonna. if I compare January to February, January is going to look worse because of this $11,000 expense, even though... February is benefiting from it as well. So, so to do it properly on an accrual basis, then what we would want to do is put it on the books as an asset and then expense it over the time period that is being covered uh, instead of expensing it when we pay for it. So you may want to set that up and you might want to set that up with like your, your adjusting department or your accountant. You might say, hey, look, I'm going to put on the bookkeeping side this stuff all the time into the uh, prepaid account, an asset account instead of an expense account. And then rely on your bookkeeper or someone else to do adjusting entries or yourself to do adjusting entries at the end of the month or year to take it out of the prepaid and expense it. That's one method you can use. Or you could just say, hey, look, I'm on a cash basis. I don't want to deal with that. That's going to take more time. I'm just going to expense it here and recognize that that's going to make January look worse because of this large expense compared to February. 
but that's okay. It's the easiest thing to do, and I'm going to be on a cash basis and just do that, recognize that difference when I go through my reporting, and then, then tell that to my accountant at the end of the year. And if they need to adjust it, they can do the other way, adjusting it out of the expense and putting it back into uh, the prepaid account. But the proper way to do this would typically make a prepaid account. So that's what we'll do here. And I'm going to say that, let's see, and this is what I would recommend first when you're starting this out, see if Zero has the appropriate account in here. Just don't just start adding accounts. See if Zero has the appropriate account. If it doesn't, then start to add. So they have an insurance account, but that's an expense type of account. If I'm doing a cash basis, I could use that. I'd like to look for a prepaid account. So we have investment. Here's prepayments. So I could use this prepayment. I might want to set one up that's more specific simply to inventory which I can then group together under the prepayments. So I might want to make one like 13, uh, 1305. Let's just do that one. Let's make another account just to practice. It would be, uh, let's, let's say 1305. I'm going to put the account number. I'm leaving some space between the last account number. Prepaid insurance. And it won't let me do that that way. So I'm going to add it this way. I'm trying to remember the account number which is 1305, it's going to be an asset account. So it's going to be a current asset type of account. It's going to be the name is going to be prepaid insurance. And then I'll, I won't put any description. I'll keep it at that. I'm going to say save. And there we have it. So what's this going to do? It's going to it's going to be decreasing the checking account. The other side is going to go into an asset account called prepaid insurance. Let's go ahead and save that and check it out. So I'm going to say save. And then I'll go up to the trial balance and check it out. So we'll go to the trial balance and update. Let's update the reports. Or actually, I need to make this for January and then update it. January 31st and then update it. And then it should be coming out of the checking account. So we wrote a check. So it's going to be coming out of the old checking account for the 11000 So the checking account should be decreasing by the amount that we paid, which was 11000 So there it is there. Going back up top, the other side then is not going to be on the income statement, but on the prepaid. And then we'll expense just the amount that was incurred in the adjusting entries, which we'll do later. So here it is in, in the prepaid account. So note... Uh, you, you might want to group all the prepaids together. You might have multiple. This could happen. Like you could prepay other anything. You could prepay rent or anything like that. So you might want to then group the prepayments into one prepaid account if you want to give to somebody else. You probably, if you have multiple insurance type accounts uh, that you that you prepay, like auto insurance or other insurance, liability, whatever kinds of insurance that you prepay, then you might want to have a different account for each of them. You might have to say, hey, this is the general liability insurance. This is the other insurance, auto insurance and whatnot. And then group them together by you by using uh, your I don't have it on the balance sheet, but using your grouping feature on the balance sheet to group them together for a report you might give to someone else just called prepayments and group all the prepaid insurance together in one you know, prepaid insurance or one prepayment account, as we've seen in the past, using that kind of grouping feature. I might look more about that in, in the future, but now let's go down to our next uh, expense. So we'll do this again. I'm going to go to the drop down and we're going to then say that we want to spend more money. We're going to spend more money. And this one's going to be going to Staples. So we're going to be spending money from Staples for office supplies type stuff. So I'm going to be spending this out of the checking account once again. So we're going to go out of the checking account. It's going to be decreasing then the checking account. I'm going to take this to Staples, which is probably another new vendor. Staples. So new contact for Staples. I'm going to say this is on the 31st as well. And scroll on over to the description. And I'm going to say we can say office supplies. Quantity 1. Price 500. That will give us the amount. Then I'm just going to choose the 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 uh, vendor. Now again if it was a, a second month. I, I, would, I would look at the prior year transaction. Or prior month transaction. If there's a, other Staples and check it out. Here, I'm going to add it. Now, when you add it, I'm just or take a look at the expense or the accounts that are involved here that are already in the system from zero gave to us. And then if they don't have something that's appropriate, then I will add it. So I'm not going to add it unless I don't see it in, in here. So if I go through these expenses, I'm only looking at the expenses section and I don't see anything really related to office supplies, which I'm kind of shocked about. 
if I type in like supplies, I don't see anything pop up or office, office. Now be careful because this one is actually an equipment account and you can tell by the account number, it's up in the equipment section. So it's not, I want an expense account. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna type this one in here. I'm just gonna say, all right, I'm gonna, I'll make one if we don't have one. And the account number that we need to have here, let's just check out the account numbers. We wanna be on the expense area and that's gonna be like the 600s. So let's put it at like, uh, you know, we could say uh, 6160, let's, let's say 6160, we can put it in between here. So I'm gonna say, all right, let's do that. And I'm gonna add another account and remember that number for uh, the 6160 and the type is going to be an expense type of account so i'm going to select the drop down look for that old uh, expense type of account and it's going to be let's name it let's call it uh let's call it office supplies let's, that's good enough office supplies that's what it's called and then i'm going to save it and there we have it there's the 500 let's save this it's going to be uh, decreasing the checking account now on the other side going to office supplies and yeah, let's go over to our trial balance and just check that out if we update this then we're going to say then that the checking account should be going down so if i go into the checking account we should see a decrease of course of the 500 dollars that we have now spent or removed from the checking account and the 500 there's the 500 there other side then go into the supplies which we created another expense account that's going to be down below on the income statement type of section area which on the trial balance is on the bottom so here's the office supplies it new account popped up there's the 500 dollars within it all right let's do this again this is good times so let's do it again content let's get the good times rolling we're going to say another plus button i'm on the left tab i'm going to say plus and then we're going to go to another one of these we're going to spend more money we're going to spend more money it's okay because this is we got to spend money to make money as they say we're going to go to the checking account here checking account and next so we're going to keep this on the 30th we're going to spend this time to edison who's our utility company we're paying for the utility bill so edison is our utility company first time we have them so we're gonna have to add them next time next month it'll be there already we're not going to be printing the check so i don't need a check number we don't have an item the description we might put utilities or even electric and we might put the the period that's covered by the bill we might put the bill period in there or something which would be nice uh, added more detail in there and the price we're going to say is the 620. now again i'm going to look for an account this is the first time we've done this next time i'll just copy the account that we did last time so i'll just look at, like if i'm taking over the books or, or doing the books from that i've done before i'll just look at last month what who did we bill or what was the account related to edison but this time first time we've done this so i'm gonna say all right edison let's take a look at the old bills and see what we have here on the expense i would think there'd be like utilities or something like this and so if i go down you got insurance wages depreciation i don't see utilities utility not there very interesting so we could set up something for utilities or we could set something up for uh just electric we might want to break out the electric versus like the gas or something Typically, I would I would put the electric and gas together and simply call them uh, utilities. So let's go down here and see what's an appropriate type of expense account. Let's put it on down. Let's put it into uh, let's put it into six one eight zero. Let's put it into six one eight zero. All right, that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to say new. I'm going to go back up top and I'm going to say that this is going to be six one eight zero and that's it's available that's good and then i'm going to say that this is going to be an expense type of account so we're going to go on down to the expense type of accounts and this is going to be utilities expense and then i'll save that and let's go ahead and record record it and see what happens so we know what's going to happen it's going to check an account it's going to go down let's, let's check it out we're going to go over to the trial balance update this one so we have the the up-to-date information go into the checking account and we should see a decrease then to the checking account for the Edison bill that we just paid which was six hundred and twenty dollars so we're going to scroll on down there's the 620 we got it all right back up top then we're the other side is going to go to a new account that we set up which was the utilities expense so if we go on back up and we scroll on back down utilities expense you can kind of check the the, the code numbers over here the account numbers as well 
to kind of get an idea of, of what type of grouping you want to have down down here do you get an idea of of uh, see the the assets are ones and then twos and then all the expenses are in the sixes and you might have some more kind of grouping down here uh, with your expenses you might want to break them out with your with your code numbers in some some fashion but in any case I'm going to keep it at that there's going to be the 620 for the utilities expense okay so now we're going to go and do this again we're going to have a telephone expense now so I'm going to say the plus button again and let's go and we're going to spend more money we're going to spend more money obviously you could put all these in it at one point in time instead of jumping back and forth each time but I want to just go over the what's happening after each transaction so we're going to take this out of the checking account and when you save it you could go down here and say save and add another rather than save right save and add another and just enter more in in there this one's going to go to verizon which is our phone company verizon so i'm going to tap that in again first month therefore we're going to have to add the vendors which or the vendors which just add them as we go we're not going to write a check for it i'm going to say this is the telephone and again, we might want the period covered on the telephone so that we have that information for the more detail, which would be good. I'm not going to put it here, though. And then we're going to say the other side should go into, I would think, a telephone. Now, you could put it into utilities again. It just depends how much detail you want. There's no, it's not an exact science. But you would think that, uh, think that I could put it in the utilities so I'd have everything in utilities. But I like to break out the telephone because it's usually like kind of expensive. And you might even have more categories than that. And so I'm going to add it here. So what did we put on utilities? Utilities, we had the account number of 6180, so maybe 6185, let's say. So let's add it. And I'm gonna say like 6185, 6185. We'll make this an, an, an expense type of account. So I'm gonna go on and into the expense. And I'm gonna call this the telephone. And there we have that. And then we'll save that one. And there it is. Let's go ahead and save that and check it out. We're going to go back to the trial balance to do so, going back up top, and then we'll update this information. We're pretty consistent that the checking account will be going down. The other side is going to be going down here into the telephone. Here's the checking account. Let's go on down and see if we have a telephone. There's the telephone expense now increasing. So we've added some new stuff here. Now let's let's go in and look at our financial statements just because we added some expenses and they'll might be kind of interesting to look at. So we're going to go into the accounting. I'm going to go back to the first tab, go to accounting. I'm going to go to the balance sheet. Let's open up the good old balance sheet to check it out since we had kind of a lot of stuff that we did and we might want to check out the balance sheet. I'm going to right click on the tab up top and duplicate it. Then let's go back to the tab to the left and let's open up the old income statement as well. Open up the old income statement and let it open up and then I'll right click on it and duplicate it. Then let's go on back over to the balance sheet and see what we have here. I'm going to bring the date back out to 2020 because that's when we're working. So I'm going to bring it to the end of the 2020, January 31st, or not the end of 2020, end of the first month of 2020. And there we have our checking account. Now note, we have, like we said, we increased or included the prepaid insurance. You might have different insurance accounts. So I would set up two kind of balance sheets, one for your internal use, where you might have the insurance number even here. So you know the policies that are different between the different insurance accounts. And you might have insurance accounts for different regions or something like that, which you can dif differentiate. Then you can put them together using that group field. So I can then go into the, to the page layout thing down here. When I wanna give this report to someone else, I might not want uh, the prepaid or the insurance, uh, you know, broken out in that in that format. So then I could just be grouping together. Here's the uh, prepaid insurance and other prepayments or something like that. If I had multiple prepaid insurance accounts, I could then add the group for it, and I could just call the group uh, pre uh, in prepaid insurance. If I have multiple insurance coverages in there, right, and then I could. Uh, minimize this and then it would all be in one account of prepaid insurance as opposed to multiple kind of accounts of insurance so that's one thing I kind of I kind of want to know I'm going to discard that you'd want two two reports in order to do that then if we go over to the income statement so if we go over to the income statement uh, we had then the expenses down below so we have the telephone expense and the utilities expense that are increasing and the supplies now remember as you create the expenses you want to you want to kind of balance between having a whole lot of expenses and a lot of detail because if you have too many expenses it gets kind of messy because you now you have to a different expense for every vendor that's, that's too much detail 
and having too little expenses. You don't want to have just one account called expenses, right, that groups everything together. So, for example, the telephone and the utilities, you could break this out uh, between telephone and utilities, or this is the way I would normally do it. You can have the telephone expense, the utilities expense, utilities expense combining together, possibly gas and electric, or you can group them all together under utilities, or you could be putting them into telephone, the, the electric expense, and uh, the gas and whatnot. Now, you also might have different utilities by region. You might have different phone numbers that you're using for different people. You might want to track them individually, possibly, uh, for the different bills for different individuals. If you did so, you can make it make the same thing happen here. Multiple telephone accounts here to, to the different accounts, then group them together when you want to give this report to someone external. In other words, have an internal report where you can use the trial balance, which has all the detail, has, has all your account numbers on it, like this kind of stuff in it and a balance sheet and an income statement like that and then group them together group that stuff together when you give this information to someone else that's outside using that grouping function that we that we saw on the other side as well so here's the net effect on the income statement at this point in time which of course is the income minus the cost of goods sold which is the expense of inventory gross profit then minus the other expenses that are business expenses we're currently at a loss of the of the 270 dollars and 60 cents